appreciate you coming. Uh, the MS community and the passionate doctors involved in this research are the reason why we're here today, and you have all become like family to myself, my, my family, and the foundation, and you represent the reason we're here today. We share a common purpose to educate ourselves about the science of CCSVI, and I'm excited to present the speakers to you today. Margaret Mead once said, never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can change the world. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. With the passion and determination in this room, and across the globe from Italy to Canada, and across Facebook, the fight against MS has never been stronger. I am proud to be here with you today. This fight means so much to me on a personal level. My older brother, Devin, was diagnosed with MS in 2009. He always tried to take care of me, so it was difficult when the tables turned. When he had his first symptom, I was planning my wedding. Um, even though my family had come together with such joy and excitement, I'll tell you we had never been stronger than when my brother was diagnosed. That's what brought our family to the deepest connection that we had seen. And I know many of you can relate. Uh, so when Devin was diagnosed, uh, my parents' true colors shine, shone brighter, brighter than I had ever seen. They were uh, tireless in rereading the research. My mom is Arlene Hubbard, OTR. Please stand up. Well, she needs to be
one, so bear with me that it was a little frantic out there before. I'm, I'm very happy that you are all here, and I'm very excited to introduce our first speaker. Kirsty Duncan is currently the federal member of parliament for the riding NOV Coke North, and was the vice chair, sorry about the message. Um, she was the vice chair of the House of Commons, Standing Committee on Health, and the vice chair of the Subcommittee on Neurological Diseases. She's an associate professor on leave of health studies at the University of Toronto, and has authored two books, one of which was shortlisted for the Canadian Science Writers Association Awards. She was nominated for Canada's Top 40 Under 40 in 1997, 98, 99, 2001, and was awarded the Arnold G. Wedding Memorial Lectureship for 1999 at the 42nd Biological Safety Conference for outstanding co contributions to biological safety. She was nominated for the Order of Ontario in 2000 and 2001, and in 2007 she was recognized for her work as a lead author for climate change and health for Canada on the Intergovernmental Panel of, on Climate Change, which jointly won the Nobel Peace Prize with former Vice President Al Gore. In 2009, she was awarded the Knowledge Millennium Award in India for her research in influenza pandemics. She works tirelessly to fight for clinical trials of CCSVI in Canada, and she will be speaking today on this topic. Let's welcome Christina. And it's such an honor to be here, and it's a tremendous honor because I have enormous respect, like all of you in this room, for Dr. Hubbard. Um, I'm going to begin by talking about the concept of willful blindness. Uh, these are things we could know, should know, but somehow manage not to know. Uh, for example, ignoring obvious problems in a relationship or at work or not going to the doctor when you have a troubling <coughs> symptom. And that's about as funny as I get, folks. Um, <laughs> so bear with me. Um, in the 1950s, Alice Stewart was a British researcher who noticed a link between x-rays and childhood cancer. But it was not until the 1980s that the medical community acted upon it. In 1982, Barry Marshall and Robin Warren, these were Australian physicians, noticed a link between a bacterium and ulcers. It was not until 1994 the medical community said we should treat these ulcers with antibiotics. Human capacity to ignore what is in front of us is staggering. And I don't know if you know the invisible gorilla story. Uh, Harvard University did a study, they asked people to count the number of basketball passes. No one noticed the woman standing in a gorilla suit at center court for nine seconds. And I guess the lesson here is in order to see more clearly, we must challenge our biases, encourage debate, and not back away from complicated problems. I am a former health professor. Uh, turned member of parliament. My own research area was pandemic influenza. And many years ago, I led an expedition 500 miles from the North Pole in order to exhume six bodies 